Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful baby blanket. Now this blanket is made up of little crocheted crosses. It's like a little knots and crosses blanket. It's like a little knot and then you've got an actual crossover in the blanket like this. Now it looks really difficult but it's not. It's a beautiful lace pattern as well. I also made a pretty little bonnet to match. This is beautiful. I really really like this. Now can you imagine giving that to someone that's just coming out of hospital with a newborn baby or a gift for a baby at a baby shower. This is a beautiful, beautiful blanket and it really is easy. You can change the ribbon to any colour that you want and I just love it. Now the, the bonnet will be a different video and I will upload that so the bonnet will be a different video on its own how to make my little design for my bonnet. Now there's no pattern for these because I've made these up myself and the same with the blanket but you can make these, you can make them and sell them if you want, you can give them away as a gift if you want, I don't mind at all, I don't mind at all and it's such a beautiful beautiful set. Hello everyone, so for this blanket, I know the one I've showed you is white, but I'm going to show you how to do the stitch and I'm going to use this dusty pink and it's a Karen Simply Soft. This one skin should do a blanket the size that I had. There's 170 grams in this and that's 6 ounces and it tells you to use a 5 millimeter knitting needle or crochet hook, I'm going to use a four and a half. Because this is a really long stitch, I'm using a four and a half. So for this blanket that I'm finishing off, I've got 60 stitches running along the bottom and I've done 26 patterns repeats on this blanket. I'm not going to do such a big long one to show you how to do this stitch for this blanket. I'm going to do you a small sample. I'll put the blanket there so that we can see it. So you're going to do your chain. For the blanket that this size that fits um, a baby stroller, a baby buggy, a car seat, baby car seat, a carrier, a Moses basket. This is 60 stitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chain, do it quite loose. One, two, three, four, five, well, I've done 30 stitches. I'm going to do an extra three. One, two and three. I'm going to crochet. So we're going to treble crochet for this foundation row. The foundation row here is just a whole line of treble crochet. So I'm going into the one, two, three, the fourth chain, the fourth space in my chain and I'm going to do a treble crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. So that extra three I did makes my first stitch. So I'm going to crochet all the way down here and I should have 30 crochets. You make your blanket the length that you want and what you do is you just pause the video and come back when you've got to the end of your chain. So I've got my chain of 30. Now remember when you do your chain, do it quite loose. If you do your chain too tight, your blanket might end up like this. It might end up with a really tight edge and your blanket will have, it'll look like that and it'll be very tight along the bottom. So do your chain quite loose. 
Now to get these little cross sections and this little knots and crosses blanket because when it's stretched out it looks like a knot and a cross and a little zero across and a knot so knots and crosses or a little kiss kiss blanket I like to call this a little kiss kiss because it's full of little kisses so what we're going to do is we're going to chain four one two three four that is this part that's running up the edge to keep your blanket nice and straight do one more so you'll chain five all together and turn turn your work now what we're going to do is don't count that stitch there don't count that one uh -uh, don't count that we're going to use these two stitches here the next two i'll zoom in a bit So don't count the one that's right diagonal down or the horizontal down with that. We're going to use these two stitches, this one and this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook three times. One, two and three. So it looks like you have four stitches. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip a stitch. And we're going to go into the top of this next stitch. So skip your first stitch and go into this next stitch, into the top of the next stitch and pull your yarn through. So it looks as if you've got one, two, three, four, five stitches on. Put your yarn over and pull through two stitches. Your yarn over, pull through two stitches, that's twice. Yarn over pull through two stitches, that's three times, and yarn over and pull through two stitches, that's four times. And that gives you this twisted stitch. So what we're going to do to make the cross section, we're going to go back to that stitch that we skipped. We're going to go back and work that stitch. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to come behind we're going to come behind the stitch we've just done and to the front and go through that stitch now that's what we're going to do that is working back to the stitch that you skipped so wrap your yarn around your hook three times one two and three now you might need to hold it here, hold it, because sometimes when you take your hook back, if you don't hold it, sometimes when you take your hook back, the thread comes off, your yarn will come off. So one, two, three, because we've got so much on. So one stitch and our three twists, it makes four. Hold it. We're going to go, make sure that yarn goes to the back. So we're going to go in that big space and through the stitch we skipped. I'll show you that again. Yarn around three times, one, two and three. Just hold it up here and bring your hook through that space and in through the stitch that we skipped. Pull your yarn through. You've got one, two, three, four, five. If you've only got four, then you've let your yarn drop. Just take it out and do it again. Yarn over, pull through two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two stitches. Yarn over, through two, and oops, yarn over and through the last two stitches. So that gives you your first little crossover. So when you bring your hook through this hole and go into the stitch that you skipped, that's what causes the cross. So now we're going to skip a stitch and work this stitch here. 
So skip one stitch, double treble crochet, and then go back to the stitch you skipped. Okay? Yarn round three times. One, two, three. Skip a stitch and work that stitch next to it. Yarn through two, yarn through two, yarn through two. Make sure you get all your little threads and yarn through two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that skip stitch. We're going to work back to that skip stitch. So yarn over one, two and three and hold it and come through the gap and in through the stitch you skipped and pull through, yarn through two, yarn over, through two stitches, yarn over, through two stitches or through two loops and through two stitches. I call them stitches, a lot of people call them loops. So we've got two. We're going to work our way all along the chain or you work your way along the chain of your blanket. Skip one, work one and go back to the skip stitch. So one, two, three, skip a stitch into the next, the top of the next stitch. So there's the stitch we're going to go back to. We're going to go back to that stitch there. So yarn over one, two, three. I find if you hold it, it's easier. Through the gap, bring your hook through the gap and through the stitch you missed. Pull your hook through, yarn over, through two, yarn over, through two, over, through two, over and through two. And that should go another little cross. So we're going to work all the way along. Now the top of the little chain that we did, we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to go through the top of that chain of three, should I get it through there correct, through the top, might be a little dicey because it's the first one, one, two, three, four, five, on the end and that is this one that's all running up here you'll have that at either side of your blanket so we're going to chain five one two three four five so we're going to work our way along again now as you can see it's a little bit easier to spot where your crosses are. Ignore that tiny little stitch there that runs down there, that one. Don't do that. Uh -uh. We're going to skip this stitch and go into this stitch. The one that's the top of there. And we'll skip, we'll work back to this one. So skip this stitch and go into this one. One, two, Three. Remember, yeah, remember and wrap your yarn around three times and go into that stitch, pull through. You should have what looks like five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops and through the last two. One, two, three. Wrap your yarn three times. We're going through the gap and work the stitch we skipped. One, through two loops, through two loops and through two loops. So that gives you your next little cross and that little cross 
sits above the one you've just done. So we have a stitch already in there. We're going to work with these two. Skip this one and work into that one. One, two, three wrappings of your yarn into the stitch. Remember, skip a stitch. One, two, three, through the gap and work that skipped stitch. Work back to the skipped stitch. Two, two, and there we go. And we're going to do that all the way along to the end. So we're at the end of the chain that we did. So one, two, three, count up four, one, two, three, four, and go into the fifth stitch at the top of that chain of five that we did. Into the top of that chain. Yarn over through two loops, through two loops, through two loops, yarn over through two loops. So we'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and turn. And that gives you your little crossed stitch, little kiss kiss blanket. So the next one, you'll skip, skip one stitch and work in to the top of your cross. Then work back into that stitch. But remember, check check the row that you've done and check you've got both parts of your cross that you've not just done one and forgot to go back and do that stitch. So I'll show you how to finish this blanket. So for the very last row, I'm going to do it the same as the foundation row. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So in the UK, this is called a treble crochet. In the USA, it's called a double crochet. So I'm going to do a treble crochet into each of the stitches. A treble crochet into each of the stitches. I'm skipping that stitch because... I've never worked that one with it, so go into the first stitch beside your little cross and we're going to do a treble crochet all the way along the edge of the blanket into every stitch just to finish off your blanket. So I'm putting the last one in the top, got one there, and then the last one in the top of the chain that I had here. The last one in the top of there. Got my scissors. Just pull my yarn through the stitch and then I'll get a darning needle and I'll stitch that end and down the side so you don't see it. Now that's what it looks like. It's really really pretty. You can have it that way if you want. If you want your pattern to run that way then you can pick up each of these hoops and put four treble crochets in along the bottom. So the little blanket all finished. I finished my treble crochets, I just doubled over the edge and I lined up the crosses and I just thread some white double sided satin ribbon in and I made a little bow for it and that is our little blanket all finished. A beautiful size for a car seat a pram, a stroller, a buggy, a Moses basket. If you're looking for a perfect little gift for a, a baby shower, this is a beautiful, beautiful blanket. 
So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on the subscribe button. It is free to join my channel. Also click on the little bell icon and you'll be notified when I put up another video. And I hope you like this one. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.